Louisa Rise is raking like a groundskeeper in October. This guy's an absolute maniac. Early in the season, he was hitting 500. Right now, he's a little above four. The guy hits doubles, singles. He's got great pace and enthusiasm. He never gives up. He's a wizard with the bat. Look at this. That ball way below the zone just goes down and sneaks it over the guy's head. It's gotten to the point, the Marlins sure, maybe they'll lose to the Mets 6-2. It wasn't really close, but you know Arise had four hits that day. But like clockwork, that's what he does. He's going to connect with some good wood. And, and I mean, check out the spray chart. He's all over the goddamn field. It's like a beautiful Leonardo da Vinci painting of just great base hits. Who could forget Philadelphia, April 11th? Arise up to his usual antics. First pitch, takes an incredible ball. How can you tell that's below the zone? Next pitch, boom. That's going to be against the wall. An easy double. So that's the first inning. Just a simple outside fastball. Slaps it against the wall for the double. In the sixth, they give him the cutter top of the zone. He says, don't mind if I do. I'll just bloop that to the 330 corner over there. Get it stuck in the wall. Blast on over to third base. And that's a pretty good game for anybody. Comes up in the seventh and says, you know, might as well. They give him the fastball again, outside corner. And he says, let's make it interesting. I'll go to left field, home run. This guy's happy. This guy's sad. This guy's an absolute hitting madman. And he's smiling, does a little bunny hop. No Euro step, but you gotta appreciate the bunny hop and the point to the Lord. He comes up in the eighth, and at this point, the entire world is tuned in. Because this could be the first cycle in Marlins history. The Marlins have played thousands of games, and nobody has ever been good enough to hit a cycle. And who better to come up than single machine Luis Arise? At this point, it's, it wouldn't even be a surprise. And then he just goes down and gets it, change up bottom of the zone. He says, all right, I'll take that. That's a single. Not many people hit the cycle, especially not many Marlins. So hard to deny this has been an incredible trade for the Marlins. Easily our best player. Just a phenomenal force. I think he shows the, the younger kids what is possible. You know, when you have Superman in the dugout between him and Sandy, you've got two great role models for all the youngsters to look up to. The game after the cycle, as he was running to home plate, he did have this little incident where he slid into home plate and you can see his finger really crunches right under that cleat. He was not feeling great. And then you can see the next couple days in his swings, he was getting a little discomfort. Even with the finger injury, he had this huge pain hit single against Arizona to come in on the first pitch. He took this weird sinker up and in and just blooped it in on Jackie Robinson day for an easy victory. He's been playing recently. Hopefully he's fine with the finger. But if you ask me, he's just an absolute hero. He's the best thing since sliced bread. And But let us know what you think.